हेलो माय डी स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर फ्री वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल बटन फॉर नोटिफिकेशंस एंड विजिट आवर वेबसाइट टू परचेज फुल कोर्स वेलकम बैक इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैड सीन द एसी पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द एम्पलीफायर ओके Now, I rubbed the diagram, but if you go back, uh, when we replace the BJT amplifier or BJT with respect to H parameter model, right, I told that this is HIE and this is, sorry, this is HI and this is HR into V2 and this is HF into I1 and this is 1 by HO right this is what is the black box this is what we used and I want to tell one point here now if you consider your BJT we have three terminal let us say let us say this is emitter emitter is common if emitter is common then instead of HI we should take HIE, HRE, HFE, HOE we need to uh, add extra subscript which is nothing but common emitter therefore E, HIE, HRE, HFE, HOE if base is common let us say if base is common then HIB, HRB, HFB, HOB or if collector is common HIC, HRC, HFC, HOC whatever H parameter model we used or we got from two port network analysis remember this is generic which we can use for any configuration either common emitter, common base, common collector but only the thing what we need to do is instead of taking HI, HIE, HRE, HFE, HOE we need to take proper H parameters depending upon the configuration okay that is uh, one point therefore then whatever formula we derived let us say current gain if you take current gain right generic de uh, definition is nothing but generic uh, formula is nothing but minus hf divided by 1 plus hoe into rl right let us say if this is common emitter configuration then it will become minus hfe divided by 1 plus hoe into rl if that is common collector minus hfc divided by 1 plus hoc into rl but our job is to know what is the value of HFC and HOC or HFE, HOE depending upon the configuration and substitute we will get corresponding current gain. Therefore whatever formula we derive those are generic and uh, irrespective of the configuration but we need to use proper H parameters to substitute and then get the values. I hope this is clear. Now let's see the H parameter values for a typical transistor no need to buy the values what I give now just take them for the reference purpose but the values will be given in the examination okay now let me give you the CEH parameters If you take this is what is first on CH parameters HIE is equal to 1.1 kilo ohm HFE is equal to 50 and HRE is equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 HOE is equal to 1 by 40 kilo ohm or I can say 25 
micro ampere per volt the typical values okay number two maybe you can compare cc configuration hic is equal to which is same as hie is equal to 1.1 kilo ohm okay and then hfc is equal to minus 1 plus hfe and converting into ceh parameters and then giving you then if you substitute because if you know only ceh parameters and if you know the conversion formula then we can get cch parameters also but i'm saying no need to remember but it's better if you remember the conversion formula sometimes even the configuration is cc but ceh parameters will be given if ceh parameters are given then if you know <coughs> the conversion formula then we can get cch parameters okay that's fine minus 51 then hrc that is 1 hoc is equal to HOE is equal to 1 by 40 kilo ohm, which is 25 micro ampere per volt. Okay. Similarly, third one, CB amplifier or CB configuration, then HIB is equal to HIE divided by 1 plus HFE which is basically 21 point something approximately 22 ohm then HFB is equal to minus HFE divided by 1 plus HFE it is minus 0.98 which is approximately equal to minus 1 okay that is fine and HRB is equal to I'm giving directly 2.9 into 10 to the power of minus 4 and HOB is equal to 1 by 2.01 mega ohm which is 0.49 micro ampere per volt or you can say approximately 0.5 micro ampere per volt okay these values will be given in the examination but not exactly these values corresponding to the transistor which is what is used practically maybe in the classroom or the work book whatever you are going to solve even though if i don't specify right you can take these typical values and we can solve the problems okay but if you take all previous gate examination problems uh, i'm repeating this uh, again and again these values will be given okay don't try to substitute these values even though they are given in the examination then it is wrong okay whatever which is given in the examination that we need to use sometimes the h parameters will, will not be given directly indirectly they will be given then we need to convert or try to extract from the given data to get h parameters but don't use these values okay These values we can use to solve our workbook problems.
if this is over then we can start the work with problems okay okay write down maybe you can refer to your workbook okay problem number one problem number one if you refer to if you refer to the workbook problem number one asking for asking for voltage gain okay now if you see the problem the circuit is given we need to calculate what is voltage gain okay and h parameter values are not given therefore we can take the typical values what I have given before we can use them and then we can solve the problem okay now before solving the problem let me give you the procedure okay then let's follow the processor blindly the procedure is procedure to solve BJT problems okay procedure to solve BJT problems okay processor is based on the problem statement let us say the circuit is given the circuit is given in the examination okay based on the problem statement classify the problem into either problem is related to AC analysis or DC analysis let us say now if you take this problem problem number one asking for voltage gain is it AC parameter or DC parameter definitely AC parameter because voltage gain current gain input impedance output impedance wherever we are trying to deal with AC signals obviously that is nothing but AC analysis let us say if I am asking what is operating point what is output DC collector current what is output DC voltage what is the power consumption by the transistor what is Q point stability what is stability factor right these are all and finding the value of a resistor therefore these are all related to DC analysis okay therefore based on the problem statement we need to classify the problem into either based on the circuit and based on the problem statement you need to classify the problem into AC analysis problem or DC analysis problem. Classify the problem into either AC analysis or DC analysis. After knowing the problem saying that it is related to the AC analysis then next step is next step is <coughs> find immediately AC circuit find immediately AC circuit what do you mean by AC circuit if there is an inductor right for DC, for AC analysis your inductor will be acting as open circuit you can treat it as open circuit even though it is offering some impedance or reactance you can treat it as open circuit okay and if there is a capacitor short it if there is a voltage source short it if there is a current source open it if there is an AC voltage source keep it because we want AC signals right and if there is a transistor BJT replace with H parameter model 
actually we did already that replacing BJT with H parameter model which is AC equivalent circuit right then no need to replace keep it and then assuming that we are replacing and then we are using the formula what we derived okay now after getting AC circuit the next step is find the configuration find the configuration what do you mean by configuration whether it is common emitter common base common collector because only when you know the configuration then only whatever formula we derived AI AV RI R naught right we can replace with like HI HIE HI HR HR HIC HI HIB right therefore we should know the configuration after finding the configuration right just apply the formula apply the formula okay now coming back to DC analysis from DC analysis after knowing that the problem is related to DC analysis immediate, immediately find DC circuit how will you find DC circuit if there is a capacitor for a DC capacitor to act as a open circuit and if there is an inductor for a DC inductor acts as a short circuit right if there is a voltage source keep it because that is a DC voltage source if there is a current source keep it if there is a AC signal source take it as zero because uh, the circuit we are trying to get only DC point or DC operating point or DC quantity we don't want to give the AC signals even though AC signals are given in the problem statement or actual circuit then take out all AC signals right only keep with DC circuit or DC signals then you'll get DC circuit after knowing the DC circuit just we need to apply KVL equations apply KVL equations or apply KVL to get our KVL equations either input KVL sometimes by applying only input KVL we can get the answer or by applying only output KVL you will get the answer sometimes we need both we need to apply both input KVL as well as output KVL and solve the equations solve the equations equations along with BJT along with BJT DC current equation along with BJT DC current equation what is BJT DC current equation IC is equal to beta into IB plus 1 plus beta into IC naught this is what is BJT DC equation and this is not valid for AC analysis this is valid only for DC analysis and this is valid only when the transistor is in active region okay that is fine typically the transistor circuits whatever will be given in the examination they will be in active region and if they are not in active region then it will be specified if it is not specified that is our job is to our job to check whether the transistor is in active region or not typically all will be in active region else because we know the conditions with respect to VCE, VBE, right? If they are satisfied with respect to active region, then we can go ahead. Okay? When we solve the problems, you will understand. Okay? Take this procedure. Let us apply this procedure to solve the problem. Okay? In the meanwhile, let me write here what is the problem statement. We need to find the voltage gain AV is equal to V0 by VI for the following circuit. Okay? The circuit is, circuit is given. This is what is the circuit, okay? First of all, try this procedure. Try to apply this procedure to solve the problem, okay? Maybe initially let me apply and then let's solve the problem. Maybe as we go on, we need to apply this uh, throughout our BJT amplifier, okay? Wherever BJT is there, we need to follow either AC analysis or DC analysis, okay?
okay now let's see the problem number one let us apply the procedure okay now tell me asking for voltage gain right what is voltage gain for this amplifier is asking what is v naught by v i not v naught by v s okay asking core amplifier voltage gain now first of all tell me based on the procedure tell me whether the problem is related to ac analysis or dc analysis definitely ac analysis because this is what is ac parameter right if the problem is related to ac analysis then what we need to get we need to get ac circuit okay therefore what is ac circuit if you take ac circuit right i told you transistor we need to replace with h parameter model but we already did it and then we got the formula therefore no need to do that assuming that it is replaced and resistor resistor is as it is it won't change with frequencies and rs is equal to 1 kilo ohm and the input voltage source that also we need to case because this is ac signal and this is what is your input signal vi and this is connected to ground now let's see <clears throat> what about what about the power supply this is nothing but what is the meaning of saying that the voltage at this point with respect to ground is nothing but 10 volts therefore there is a battery connected between this node to ground if there is a battery which is what is connected between this point to ground then maybe for your understanding i can say this is what is connected to therefore this is what is connected to ground instead of representing like this normally people say the node voltage with respect to ground by default if a node voltage is specified the reference is ground only therefore this is what your vcc right this is what is given and i told that for ac circuit then tell me what is change in vcc because we need to take everything change in quantity change in voltage yes that is present change in resistance right uh, the dynamic resistance that is nothing but 1k the dynamic circuit of bjt h parameter model the dynamic circuit of your power supply therefore we need to replace everything with its internal resistance as dynamic resistance therefore the dynamic resistance of your vcc is equal to zero because what is change in vcc this is nothing but normally for dc therefore change in vcc is not there that is what is equal to zero therefore this is what people call it as ac ground this is what is called ac ground because for ac analysis this is what is shorted to ground if that is what is connected to ground then what you get then the circuit will become then the circuit will become this is rs which is what is 1 kilo ohm this is vs and the input voltage right now this is what is the load it is connected let us say this is what your rc you can create as load actually that is what is your 10 kilo ohm and this is what your V naught. This is collector, emitter, and then base. Now, this is what is our AC circuit, and this is what is our AC ground. Your power supply is connected to ground, but remember, physically it is not shorted to ground. Physically, if you short it to ground, there is there is no DC power. If there is no DC power, we will not get any amplification because what is the definition of amplifier? Amplifier is a circuit which converts DC power into AC power under the guidance of input AC signal right then if you short it then there is no dc power therefore no this is for our understanding purpose we are taking out the dc quantities which are not required to solve or to get the voltage gain which is output peak to peak output peak to peak divided by input peak to peak therefore we are speaking about only ac signals not the dc signals right therefore this is only ac circuit now tell me what is next step we got ac circuit and this is what is our black box right this is what we used while solving the uh, while deriving the ac parameters therefore this is what your bjt amplifier and input is given load is there output is there input is there now asking for voltage gain right and we know the formula substitute the formula and then use the typical values of h parameter then we will get the answer therefore what is the next step the next step is find the configuration now we need to find the configuration what is this configuration where are we applying the input voltage we are applying the input voltage at the base with respect to ground emitter is at ground taking output at collector with respect to ground emitter is at ground therefore for both input and output 
right emitter is common therefore this is common emitter amplifier this is common emitter amplifier or ce amplifier this is common emitter amplifier or ce amplifier right then once you know the configuration what is the next step we need to apply the formula what we need or what we have then we can find voltage gain i think we know it let's substitute and then get it let me erase this because i need <coughs> board to solve the problem therefore now to find voltage gain or uh, i can say we know that formula av what is voltage gain formula if you go back and refer your notebook you will see what is voltage gain voltage gain is equal to ai into rl divided by ri right here what is load value your rc is nothing but your load value right the output which is what is connected to the effective load which is what is connected to your transistor output is nothing but 10 kilo ohms right and you know only rl do you know ai no we don't know therefore let us call this as star now let us find ai to find to find ai what is ai ai is equal to because this is common emitter i am just taking minus hfe divided by 1 plus hoe into rl then substitute you will get the answer what is hfe value from typical value is 50 divided by 1 plus what is hoe value 1 by 40k rl value 10k this is what is 10k then if you substitute kk will be cancelled 10 by 40 1 by 4 1 plus 1 by 4, 5 by 4, 5 by 4 will become 4 by 5, 5 10 here, 10 into 4, therefore you will get minus 40. This is what is your current gain. Right? Now we got to know current gain, now we need to calculate Ri. To find Ri right what is ri we know that ri is equal to hie plus ai into hre into rl this is what is our formula right then substitute what is hie value 1.1 kilo ohm a value minus 40 hre value 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 and RL value 10K. 10K is nothing but 10 to the power of 4. Therefore, 10 to the power of 4 into 10 to the power of minus 4, 10 to the power of 0, which is 1, 2.5 into 40, 25 into 4, 100 minus 100, 1100 minus 100, 1000, which is nothing but 1 kilo ohm. Right? Now, I think now we can solve the problem star implies now we know everything to solve therefore star implies what is voltage gain voltage gain av is equal to ai which is nothing but minus 40 and rl that is nothing but the load value 10 kilo ohm and what is ri that is 1 kilo ohm and kk will be cancelled then this is minus 400 this is what is our voltage gain Therefore, we got the answer. Therefore, what is voltage gain? Minus 400. I'll explain the meaning of minus. I can say problem is over. With this, problem is over. Maybe before proceeding to next problem, I want to explain uh, or let us have some observations and let us have some conclusion. Then that will help you to solve the second uh, second problem and then as we continue we can have the link between one configuration to another configuration or one problem to another problem okay that is very important linking is very important therefore i can say problem is over now let me explain a little bit theory about the common emitter amplifier right now 
we got to know voltage gain <coughs> we got to know current gain and we got to know input impedance right now i think out of four we got already three just to complete let us calculate the fourth one output impedance also now to find output impedance problem is not there but uh, it is not there in the problem but i'm just calculating to explain some theory to find r not what is r not we know that y not is equal to hoe minus hre into hfe divided by rs plus hie okay now what is hoe hoe is 25 micro ampere per volt minus hre 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 hfe 50 divided by rs 1 kilo ohm hie 1.1 kilo ohm right then if you solve what is this can i say this is nothing but 25 micro minus 2.5 into right 10 to the power of minus 4 into 50 divided by can i write 1k plus 1.1k which is 2.1k can i write 2.1k approximately 2k if you don't want to have some approximation and then you use exactly and calculate and then tell me what you get but before that you try to solve in that way but let me solve this small uh, small uh, approximation then uh, verify whether it is matching to your exact analysis or not okay let's see therefore let me say 2k 2k means 2 into 10 to the power of 3 therefore tell me what is 10 to the power of 3 if that is going to numerator 10 to the power of minus 7 if that is going to 10 for minus 7 then it is 0 0.1 micro the 0 0.1 into 50 5 5 divided by 2 2.5 micro 2.5 into 2.5 6.25 micro therefore it is approximately 25 micro minus 6.25 micro which is nothing but 25 micro minus 6.25 micro which is 18.75 micro ampere per volt this is what is your y naught okay now let's see what is r naught therefore r naught is equal to 1 by y naught then what is that 1 by y naught 1 by 18.75 1 by 18.75 75 that micro will become mega ohm what is 1 by 18.75 let us say approximately 20 then 1 by 20 0 0.05 mega ohm which is 50 kilo ohm definitely more than 50 k when you solve you will get therefore r naught you will get maybe approximately 52.5 kilo ohm this is what is your r naught we can take these values as granted for a typical transistor remember okay that's why we need to solve practical problem with the practical h parameter values and the practical configuration okay i think we got all four ac parameters uh, related to common emitter amplifier and current gain minus 40 input impedance 1 kilo ohm voltage gain minus 400 output impedance 52.5 kilo ohm i'll come back to ri which is 1k r not 52.5k later now let me explain a little bit about current gain and voltage gain okay now before going to the magnitude part let's see what is the meaning of minus okay why are we getting minus if you remember when we solve or when you take your amplifier configuration we always took what the current which is what is entering into the load is nothing but load current that is what is our convention right that time i told right therefore this is nothing but your load then this is nothing but your load current with respect to this current only we define your current again the current which is what is entering into your amplifier actually this is nothing but your i1 and the current which is what is entering into your load is nothing but il but if you see the real current flow the real current flow is nothing but actually this is what your collector current and this is nothing but your base current and this is nothing but your emitter current these are all real current flows therefore base current plus collector current is nothing but your emitter current Therefore, your load current is opposite to real current flow. Your load current is opposite to real current flow. And your input current is same as your base current. Therefore, here your two port network input current flow is same as the real current flow which is IB. That is fine. 
but the two port network current which is what is nothing but i2 that is matching to real current flow but with respect to load current that is exactly opposite but we took our gain current gain as il divided by i1 but il is negative therefore we are getting negative current gain saying that saying that what is our il your il is equal to minus 40 times of your input current that is nothing but your base current whatever current which is what is entering into your amplifier 40 times of that current you are trying to pump into the load but minus meaning of minus is nothing but the current is not entering into the load actually the current is coming out of the load and then entering into transistor that's why the meaning minus therefore minus is indicating only the direction not anything else okay no need to bother about it if you take magnitude which is mod a mod a is equal to minus 40 sorry mod a is equal to 40 therefore current gain 40 right magnitude now let's go to voltage gain what is voltage gain that is minus 400 okay again i'll explain the meaning of minus right but what is magnitude av is equal to 400 means whatever signal you are applying here let us say 1 millivolt peak to peak if you apply here you will get 400 millivolt peak to peak therefore 400 times of your input signal is applied to your load that is nothing but your voltage gain now this is the time to explain little bit about the circuit operation right and let's see the meaning of minus okay is this over write down then after that i'll explain the meaning of minus from voltage gain and let's see other observations as well okay over okay let me explain the meaning of minus 400 i don't have space okay let me erase this part should remember the box just to have the observations okay now let me explain a little bit here right with respect to real current flow now this is what is your base current okay and this is what your collector current and this is what your output voltage okay this is what because i'm speaking only with respect to ac signals but let me speak with respect to right let me add little bit about uh, the dc 
and then on top of DC, let me apply AC signals. Okay. Now, <coughs> actually the VI, whatever you are having, let us say the DC circuit is not shown or the bias circuit is not shown. But strictly speaking, before applying your actual AC signal, I told you, right, the transfer should be in active region. Then only it will act as an amplifier. Therefore, who is doing that? That is what is done by DC analysis. Maybe after AC analysis, I will start a DC analysis. Okay, to understand DC analysis, we need AC analysis. But the assumption in the case of AC analysis is nothing but, is nothing but the transistor is in active region. Then who is doing or who is taking care of keeping the transistor in active region? The DC analysis part or AC, sorry, biasing part. Okay, that part we will see later. But let us assume the transistor is in active region. When transistor is in active region, then I'm just taking DC signals. Let us say, <coughs> I'm applying DC signal. Let us say this is what your DC signal, VBE, capital VBE. If I apply capital VBE before AC signal, I'm applying capital VBE. If I apply capital VBE, right, then you'll get capital IB. What is the meaning of capital IB? DC current because of DC voltage. Therefore, this is what your capital IB. Now, because of capital IB, what you get? We will get capital IC. Therefore, you will get capital IC. Because of capital IC, what you get? You will get capital VCE. This is what is capital VCE. People say, I can say, the output is nothing but capital VCE. Maybe for your understanding, when I say VCC is equal to 10 volts, right? Let us have, the, let us say, the transistor is having some beta. Then using DC equation, we know that IC is equal to beta into IB plus 1 plus beta into IC naught, right? Therefore, beta is known to you and from input VBE, the DC voltage, we know IB. If you know IB and if you know beta and for the time if you neglect the reverse saturation current, then IC is approximately equal to beta into IB. This is what is your main component. You can neglect this part. Then we know beta and we know IB, we can calculate IC because it is current control current source. Your output current is controlled by input current. Your input current is controlled by input voltage. That input voltage is set by your input DC voltage or using some biasing configuration. Maybe that part we will see later, but let us say we are applying DC voltage. That DC voltage is giving DC current. That DC current is giving <coughs> output DC current. That output DC current is giving the drop across RC. Let us say we have chosen RC as a combination of IC into RC for DC signals. Let us say it is having 5 volt drop. Then out of 10, 5 volt here, then remaining 5 volt you see across the transistor. That is actually your output voltage, 5 volt. Let me take it as 5 volt. Okay. But remember, before applying your actual AC signal, I want my output DC voltage exactly half of your rail to rail or in between rail to rail. Rail is nothing but maximum power supply what you can get is nothing but 10 volts. And minimum power supply or minimum voltage what you can get is nothing but 0 volt. I want to have voltage swing about the DC voltage before giving actual AC signal or the signal what you want to amplify. The circuit should be ready for the amplification. Then let us say your output DC voltage is 5 which is in between your power supply rail to rail. Maybe if you ask me whether transistor is in active region or not, if VCE is equal to 5 volts, we can check. I already told you, right? What is your VBE? Your VBE should be greater than or equal to 0.7. Yes, for DC condition. And what is VCE? VCE is equal to 5 volts, which is greater than 0.2. Therefore, definitely it is in active region. Now, your circuit is ready. Our transistor is ready for the amplification. Now, let us apply the signal what you want to amplify. Therefore, let us apply the signal whatever I want to amplify. Then, let us see. Let's see the first half cycle of your sine wave. Then if input is increasing, then what about your base current? Therefore, now on top of DC, you have the variation. Variation in the sense, signal which is changing with respect to time. That is what is your AC signal. Therefore, the black portion, whatever I have written on top of the DC, which is capital BBE, which is a small VI, which is in black portion. Therefore, that is the signal which is what is changing with respect to time. The DC, which is not changing with respect to time. That's why in AC analysis, we don't uh, speak about the DC quantities. We only speak about AC quantities. Doesn't matter. Little bit I'm explaining DC plus AC, which I need to explain after completing all AC as well as DC analysis part. Okay. Now, I'm increasing the input current, input voltage. Then definitely the base current will increase. On top of the capital IB due to capital VBE, because of the AC signal, let us say there is a current on top of capital IB, which is small IB. Therefore, the small IB is because of a small VI or the signal which is changing with respect to time. Then, if IB is increasing by IB, your IC, let us say it is increasing by something called small IC. 
when the current is increasing definitely the drop across rc also will increase when the drop across rc is increasing how much voltage increment across rc same amount of decrement you see at the transition output because the vc to ground that is what is constant this voltage is equal to this voltage plus this voltage if the voltage across rc is increasing then the voltage out at the output of transition will decrease but how much is the increment that depends on your ic how much is the change in ic that depends on ib to beta if you have beta which is in the order of 50 basically this is nothing but hfe right if it is 50 whatever or uh, whatever current again you got right let us say uh, let us say 50 then 50 times of your ib is nothing but your ic okay because i have done some approximation therefore you are getting some beta therefore now 50 times of your ib is nothing but your ic then whatever current you have you are pumping into your base 50 times of that current is coming into the collector then 50 times of that current is flowing through your rc then you will get more drop then you will see lesser drop here therefore your voltage will be something like this here your input is increasing by small quantity but your output is decreasing by large quantity that is because of ic to ib relationship because of inherent current gain or because of current controlled current source action of your bjt your output current is controlled by your input current input base current that's why we are getting the swing something like this now if you see the next uh, the input half cycle input is decreasing then base current will decrease collector current will decrease the drop across rc will be decreasing then the voltage at the output of transition will increase significantly therefore now if you calculate output peak to peak divided by input peak to peak is nothing but your voltage gain therefore output peak to peak divided by input peak to peak that is voltage gain but if you see the relationship between uh, the phase relationship between input and output is opposite when input is increasing your output is decreasing this is what is called 180 degrees phase shift for sinusoidal signals and or you can call it as phase inversion between output to input that uh, the minus is indicating the direction direction means when input is increasing your output will decrease when input is decreasing your output will increase but remember for a small change in input large change in the output that is nothing but your amplification therefore but when input is increasing your output will decrease only the phase is nothing but when input increases output decreases that is only the direction or the phase difference between input to output okay and nothing to do with that minus except the phase then if you take about uh, if you take the magnitude output peak to peak divided by input peak is nothing but your voltage gain i hope everybody understood right therefore <coughs> maybe if you don't want to have this inversion also you take one more stage that is nothing but multi configuration multi stage amplifiers then if you take one more stage then what will happen the output is input to next stage that is also having 180 degrees phase shift for sinusoidal input 180 degrees phase shift for sinusoidal input 180 180 360 or 0 degrees or i can say minus into minus it will become plus and there is no phase inversion between input to output if you take two stages common emitter amplifier i hope this is clear write down i think i explained what is current again 40 times of your input current is nothing but your output current are entering into your load and 400 times of your input voltage is applied to your load but the minus is indicating the direction therefore in the case of current gain opposite to opposite to uh, the load current is expected which is entering into load but the actual current is opposite to the load current that's a minus here your output is decreasing when input is increasing but there is a phase relation which is what is inversion that's why the minus is indicating the inversion between output to input but uh, magnitude wise output peak to peak divided by input peak to peak that is what is your voltage gain okay take this therefore the blue color whatever i have represented here that is what is dc quantity and then on top of dc whatever i explained ac quantity therefore tell me if i speak about voltage gain output peak to peak divided by input peak to peak i don't bother about dc quantity wherever this dc let us say is 5 if it is 4 if it is 3 doesn't matter i'm speaking only output peak to peak divided by input peak to peak when i speak about voltage gain i don't bother about dc quantity right that's why we don't need dc signals but remember that, that DC uh, biasing is important to keep the Q point stability, uh, to keep Q point stable, else you see some distortion. Okay? Take it.
still the observation part is not at over they are just observing and then I just explained I just explained meaning of minus from current gain meaning of minus from voltage gain right and 40 is the magnitude and 400 is the magnitude of voltage gain now we need to understand we need to understand whether the voltage gain whatever we have minus 400 or current gain minus 40 they are high or low with respect to single stage configuration okay that part I will explain and then after that I will come back to the RI R0 the input impedance and then output impedance significance and then what are we looking for and why are we not getting the expected values of RI and R0 then we will see next set of problems okay if this is over let me stop now then we can see maybe the video will be resumed and uh, continued to focus on the circuit therefore you can take it down, you can note it, but in the next session I will explain the parts what I discussed now, okay, thank you.